Good journey, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser a year after it opened, and we got talked into going by a huge group of friends who are celebrating May the 4th in space. We didn't film the full experience like last time, but we'll show you all the new things, including there's some new food, there's some new drinks, the image design face painting, which will turn Kitra into a space alien. And we'll experience some stuff that we didn't see on our initial voyage, like eating at the captain's table, staying in the grand captain's suite. And this voyage is filled with some of the best Star Wars fans in the galaxy celebrating May the 4th. So we'll capture some of that excitement and have some fun. Oh, and Kitra's gonna explore some of her force powers in a very special intimate experience that we've never seen before. Why don't you come with us on, on this, this adventure? adventure. Most of the people we are here with have been on this experience before, but our friend Steve, it's his first time. It's overwhelming so far, and I'm, just, I'm really excited for the next, this may be a grand adventure. This is, this gonna be awesome. This is gonna be fun. See? Oh yeah. And then if you see a character, we encourage you to engage with that character. Go ahead and talk to them. Be a little nosy, see what they're talking about. Some of the people on this voyage have created things that are like handing out to other guests. So we're gonna hopefully show some of that along the way as well. One of the reasons why we came on this voyage is our friends booked the Grand Captain Suite. This is one of the biggest suites you can get here on the Galactic Star Cruiser. First impressions, this is incredible. When you first walk in, there's this whole like kitchenette area set up and they even give us like complimentary treats. We have this crate full of galactic goodies. Yeah, what is all this? Oh, here's some of the Ube cookies. Look at this. Look at all the candy in there. Space rocks. Space rocks. We have some like dehydrated apples. And then I think in this tube is caramel for the apples. <laughs> in a tube? <laughs> yeah, I love it. We'll have to open that later. What is that? I don't... I don't know. When we saw this earlier, Sarah was opening up. There were some chocolates. Yeah, some space chocolates. And then of course the the Dasani waters. This is amazing. And of course over in the corner, part of the kitchenette is some glasses and some water that is refilled, I think nightly, but you can also refill it in the atrium. There's also a little sink here. What is this thing? It looks like a, almost like a Venus fly trap kind yeah, of thing. I love that it's glowing. So uh, we, we're gonna have to translate what that says. Yes. You know, I was gonna ask you because it has a smuggler symbol right down there. That's similar to the smuggler symbol. Oh, it's not the smuggler no, symbol. I have it actually on me. If you wanna see a small version of it right here on my bag. Oh well, yeah, That's very similar. Similar. Not quite, Peter, not quite. Very similar, but not quite. So, mm -hmm. I don't know who smuggled it. Yeah. But that's a faction I'm not familiar with. Volume toxicity. Oh, so it is toxic. It is toxic. That's probably the meter. Oh, so the top is volume, the green. And the toxicity is the three bottom, the more yellow color. Okay, so we want to make sure that we don't break this. Do not break glass. Even in case of emergency. Yeah. When you turn off the lights, it actually lights up. There's a cooling supply unit. Wow, this is like the biggest. Oh, there's more water in there. This is the biggest mini fridge I've ever seen in a hotel room. Right on the opposite side of the door. What are these? Like closets? I think so. Oh, okay. Some extra blankets. We have our safe right here. And this is the living room right here. And as you see, we're, we're staying with many people in this room. So there's lots of bags. We got the viewport into space, which is also in both of the bedrooms. There's a gigantic couch. This is a huge couch. I love the table in the middle too. You even got a little little chair. And uh, Reza earlier was trying out the, the droid pass-through, <laughs> droid door. <laughs> Guys, it works. <laughs> That's supposed to be for droids. You don't know me. In the living room area, it comes with a pull down bed right here. I think that's where Dana's gonna be sleeping tonight. Pretty jealous. Probably there the couch. Yeah. Or in the little couch. Or just like on the floor. I think I could yeah. 
We're just going to wake up in the morning and you're going to be like half in the cubby hole. <laughs> or, the, or the little emergency yeah. exit. Sleep no, don't go in there because, yeah, don't go in there. I also noticed next to the couch, there's a little cubby so you could store your backpack or something now. Let's check out the first bedroom right over here. I think this is probably like the master's suite because there's only one bed in here. There's no bunk beds or anything if you remember from when we were here before. I love that every room in here has a, a window out into space. And if you need to do some work here on the Halcyon, they have this little retractable table and little chairs that come out. I like that all this packs into the walls and it saves you a little bit of space. Each of the bedrooms have this little droid link station where you can talk to the butler D3 and it has a telephone and all that good stuff. And you can tr control the temperature as well. What brings you to our treasured ship? To have a good time with friends. On the Halcyon, we guarantee a voyage that's fun and almost always safe. Hello there. This is the grand bathroom. Grand bathroom? Whatever, master bathroom. It's a big bathroom. Check out all the space we have to go to the bathroom. I think the most interesting thing about this huge bathroom is here's the shower area. There's not one, but two showers in here. Are people supposed to shower together? Because there's one on this side, and then there's also one on that side. And of course you got your space mirror alongside two sinks both with H2O products. And then my favorite thing, this is actually a souvenir that you could take home with you and it comes with like makeup remover wipes. I'm actually gonna get my face painted tomorrow, so these will definitely come in handy. And then of course, you got your space hair dryer. And this toilet room is shut off from the rest of the bathroom. That's good, at least there's not two toilets and you don't have to like go to the bathroom side by side, like the shower. <laughs> Here's the second room. This one is very, almost identical to the one that we stayed in the first time we came here. It has the bed, it has the classic bunk beds, and it also has a pull-out bed over here. So this room alone could fit five people. I think we have like eight total people in our group spread out between this whole place. You know what's weird? That they have these droid links in both of the bedrooms, but not in the common area. Yeah, because I probably don't expect people to be sleeping in the common area. I mean, there's beds there. That's true. Good point. Right outside of the bedroom, there's another closet. There are actually two bathrooms in here. Here's the second one. It's a lot smaller. It only has one sink, one toilet, one shower. This is almost identical, like I just said, to the room that we stayed in before. It's like a normal room with like extra space to that side. I just found this. It says your cabin features several amenities for your enjoyment while on board. As a memento of your voyage, you're welcome to bring the bathroom amenity home with you. Please note that additional amenities taken from the room upon departure will be automatically charged to your account. What can you take here? I guess you could try to take the robes. Don't do that. Like the pillows and the like- The pillows, the blankets. The bunk beds have like these awesome, almost like sleeping bags. Yeah, don't do that. You can take the thing in the bathroom though, like I showed you. And the thing about Star Cruiser is you're not gonna really be spending that much time inside your cabin anyways. It's two days, two nights, and it's action-packed. So I wouldn't say to get this cabin if you're like looking for more room to lounge around at nighttime because you're not gonna be in here much. The reason why we are in here is we packed like eight people in here. It's gonna be like summer camp for adults. In space. Are you guys practicing? The Ryloth line. <laughs> the booty the booty day. Day. <laughs> we just sat down to lunch and this is bringing back so many memories. Just the smells in here, the music. Of course, I got myself a cup of green milk because that's how I do. Dino, what's your favorite item here at the I don't cafeteria? Pick favorites. I can't do it. Okay, this is a new thing to me. I didn't try this before. It's tippiant, but it's coated in like Rice Krispies. It is so good. I'm gonna keep coming back for more. And I have to like suck it and stuff. Like rip off the head. <laughs> Sebastian? Yeah. From the live action Little Mermaid? Yeah. What is he doing here? <laughs> What's your favorite thing? You know what I think? It's a toss up between this little guy, almost like Brazilian cheese bread with ham in the middle, and then of course the, the grilled cheese and tomato dip. My favorite thing is the sun butter and jelly orb. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Have like a little green orb. <laughs> so good. Uh, these are uh, bounty posters. Oh my goodness. So, uh, 
There's one for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That is so awesome. This is you. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, look at that. Is this a wanted poster? <laughs> I look so evil. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you guys. I decided to order myself a bloody <laughs> rancor. This is different than the one that you could find in Ogus Cantina. It has vodka, golden tomato juice, carbonite dipped bloody raincore cubes. So this is actually chunks of the raincore. <laughs> That's so good. You monsters, both of you. I know. I feel kind of bad, but I know it's gonna be delicious. This is good. Ooh, a little spicy. So this is uh, V1RU5 virus. It looks like a probe droid. It is a probe droid. So I've, I, I've um, never seen them that small before. Oh, they have a small companion probe droids. I found her in a junk heap on Mercana and uh, I've been slowly rebuilding her ever since. She's got a few glitches, but she's still running. Occasionally, she kind of gets spooked, and then this happens. <laughs> We're gonna go inside the Shanjoa collection. This is the store on the ship, and see if there's anything new. I think the only new thing is this Sabak ship set. Oh my god, oh, that's wow, heavy. this is heavy. Yeah, wasn't this something you wanted last time, but I didn't have it? Yeah, it wasn't out yet, but. Take a look here. We, we got the cards. The cards, these are some of the best Sabah cards ever. But the chips, look at that. Oh yeah, these have got some weight to them. They're metal. One of the things we're gonna do on this voyage is Kitra's doing the identity program. This basically they do makeup for you. I'm wondering, should they should she get the headpiece and be a pilot? <laughs> I'd like to see Kitra the pilot. I don't know if I'm gonna completely blue myself. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. You can call me Galen, but or you can call me Sabine. I'll, I had somebody holler Sabine okay, while okay. ago, and I turned the look. Okay, that, yeah. Where? <laughs> yes, Sabine Ren. Awesome. You did a great job. I had a, a friend painted them. So basically, I decided last year when I was sending Ogas in May the 4th, I should make kyber crystals for the drinks, because everybody loves an Oga drink. And now there's a, a drink for each color that you can do in your... Okay, so we have the Fuzzy Tauntaun, the yep. T-16 Skyhopper, yep. forget what that one's called, the Hyperdrive Blue Bantha. Hi okay, Hyperdrive. Oh yeah, we don't have this one in Batu West anymore. Yeah. Oh, and then you got ones from the ship too. Yeah. Wow, these are awesome. <laughs> wow, these are so cool. <laughs> What's he got? <laughs> Peter. And Peter. Oh, and Peter. The R is, is important also. Kitra and Peter, it sounds <laughs> Of course, we had to stop into the Sublight Lounge and visit our fish friends, the Hydrondrome. But I got myself the Fiery Mustafarian, which usually comes in a souvenir glass. You can order it not in the souvenir glass for cheaper. Kitra also got the Silver Sea Martini, which is one of her favorites. It's glimmery, it's shiny. So they even have the Brig, which is a relic from the Imperial Times here. Reza? Have you been stuck in here since the last time we were here? Thanks for showing up. I've been here for over a year because you told them I was with the First Order. They threw me in the brig and I've been here for a year. I'm leaving. Good luck. See if you've been bad. Get in the brig. No! Get in the brig. No! Nerf herder. Where he belongs. Uh, You're gonna have to crawl out. Nope. Good thing. Good thing. So those flashing white icons there should correspond to something in the mechanical systems. One, two, three, go.
The activity of the house here has attracted suspicion. So one of the few things that they added to the schedule is a, something called Ways of the Saja. It's a way to like introduce yourself to the Saja who are on board the Halcyon. There wasn't really a way to meet them unless you just like encountered them in the lobby. If you want to go on the force path, it's a way to like introduce yourself to them. We're gonna step with our left foot into the space. And that's it. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> We're gonna take our left hand, put it just in front of your chest, keep it nice and strong. This is a block, so you're gonna tuck your thumb in just like this, okay? You wanna keep that hand strong, because if someone's coming at you, you wanna be able to block that strike, right? Just keep that hand nice and strong in front of your chest, in front of your heart center. Now, you're gonna take your right hand, and as Saja, we are ready for anything, right? So we're gonna bring that hand up into chamber, right underneath your rib cage, keep that nice and strong as well. You never know what you're gonna to need to be prepared for. And that's why we have that hand there in reserve, okay? Eat. Good. So good to see you. Uh, catch up? Yes. yes. Good to Hi, see you. sir. Yes. Good to see you again. Yes. And we find our center. We always find the center. So we breathe in, we take our hands. Whoa! And then sit back in. Good. Good. Top of the stance, top of the floor. Always make sure that the center is. Oh, Sarah, you alright? <laughs> you, you know, got, got to make sure we uh, extend his hamstrings a little bit because I, I was like, I was, oh, okay, got to stretch, got to stretch a little bit. <laughs> and now we'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Oftentimes when I'm feeling anxious, I'll go sit down on the couch and listen to an audiobook. Audiobooks have the power to boost our moods. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks and each month members get credits good to any audiobook, which is yours to keep. An audiobook I just started listening to is Star Wars The Princess and Scoundrel by Beth Freebus. This the story follows Leia and Han beginning just moments after Return of the Jedi. And it follows them on their honeymoon on the Halcyon Star Cruiser, the same ship you see in this video. New members can try Audible for free for 30 days. Just go to audible.com slash ordinary adventures or text ordinary adventures to 500 500 to try Audible for free for 30 days. Now let's get back to the Star Cruiser. I hope you're hungry because it's almost time for your dinner reservation. It's the first time we were actually doing captain's table which means we sit with the captain and we actually get additional courses and stuff. Let's go do it. So the captain's table is in the middle of the dining room and it's also where the captain sits. Towelettes on the left. You can drop it into the citrus scented water on the right that I prepared for you. <laughs> At first I thought this was food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. It smells like lemons. How fancy. It looks like everyone at the captain's table also gets a souvenir coin of the Halcyon. That's pretty cool. And they also give you a little champagne for the captain's toast. He told us it was some champagne from the planet of Napa. First and foremost, I had mentioned that our first bite is gonna be the amuse bouche for you all at the captain's table. Some pressed red fruit pillow. Now, at first glance, this might look something like a sushi or a sashimi if you've had that in your travels throughout the galaxy, but our culinary team has created something that is completely plant-based for you. So, the crunchy pillow on the bottom is gonna be filled with a wasabi avocado puree, a compressed and marinated sliver of red fruit over top to resemble the texture of a seafood, and then a micro garnish and gelade sauce on top. So, take a nice big bite, capture all the flavors together to start your evening. I think this is just meant to be like a palate cleanser, so very nice. Well, my friends, thank you so much. Uh, I am sorry I am a little bit later than yourselves. Thank you so much. As you can imagine, there are many things that I have been dealing with on the fly today, so thank you for your patience. This is to the Halcyon in 275 cycles going through the galaxy, to the captain's table, bringing passengers from all across the galaxy together to enjoy a night of cuisine and entertainment. So we can toast to our Anzo and phrase that we love to say on board, Tabuite. Tabuite! Tabuite, because I've actually been to the, the planet of Napa before and I can attest that this is a, a very nice rosé champagne. Endor! Oh my goodness! I had been hearing that uh, the conservation efforts with everything that happened 30 plus years ago, uh, that everything is really starting to come back. Yeah, and uh, that that is perfect. And I am glad that enough members of the galaxy were willing to work with the Ewoks to not only preserve the forests as they were, but to make sure that their their way of life wasn't interfered with. 
because if I know anything about Ewoks, what they hate the most is when somebody from a core world comes in and tells them how their, their planet or their moon is supposed to be run. And I do hope to get back to Bright Tree Village at some point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you get older, Theo, remember that Bright Tree Village can throw quite a party. <laughs> Might be a little intense for you now, but uh, they, they know how to do a celebration right you want to be at the dinner table, not on the dinner table. Precisely so. You want to be playing the drums and not part of the percussion. I did not expect to substitution matter quite this quickly. Neither did I, but it was very urgent. I appreciate that. Uh, my apologies, friends. We are we are getting some chatter from Batu. I just want to make sure it doesn't affect our timeline and uh, arrival tomorrow that we stay on course. So I'm just going to make sure that I take that information. So I think everybody else in this dining room gets three main courses. We get six. I included that small amuse-bouche, which just shows you the value you get here. Actually, when this place opened, Sarah? $30. $30? <laughs> $30. $30. $50 per song. It's been selling out consistently, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up even more. Tabuate. Tabuate. When Gaia Steve. comes out, we're going to crack these open. Oh, cool. Yeah. I thought it was a straw. No, it's a glow stick. Don't okay. drink it. I know you think Kitra is Gaia's biggest fan, but no, 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 I am. So I arranged to get a bunch of these glow sticks. We've given them out to everybody here in the dining room. For both dinners, we're doing it because we want everybody to celebrate Gaia and have the room growing purple. Whose idea was it for the glow sticks? I think it was me. I think it was actually me, but... Does, yeah, it probably was him. I remember Peter <laughs> mentioning it and saying it, and saying it would be cool if, but who pulled it off? The intermezzo of the captain's table for you all is a way to warm you up and get you ready for the entree in tonight's performance. We have your Agamarian tofu bite tucked into a miso yaku shooter. So it is nice, warm, savory, brothy soup. Very savory. Well, you like know, a miso. I'm trying to compete with you somehow. What is Ray Paul doing here? A little bit. <laughs> Acquired it somehow. <laughs> you know, force of habit. I don't know. I just see one of those things and just We're do We're guys number one fan. I know you are. How are you, buddy? It's good yeah. to see you again. You all right? Good to see you. Looking well? Yeah. Everything good? Everything's great. Okay. Did you get her a board? Yes, of course I got her, but when you ask Wraith Cole to do something, it happens, my friend. This is not complex mathematics. Every time I stand on a stage that she is about to electrify, I know one thing that I'm going to turn around and do it right again at the next show. But it always feels just as exciting as the first time. Gaia! Oh, wow. For the last 
little sweet treat from the Captain Sable. We have your Fiorendi's course. This is going to be our assorted Chandrila chocolates. Now, there's a few different kinds on here. Flat circular are going to be a stone fruit chocolate for you. The rectangular ones are going to be a salted caramel chocolate. And then created for the Captain Sable, you'll see the spheres. That is a Gungan delicacy, the Gungan Umi Umi. It is filled with a tropical green slime that the Gungans love to enjoy for dessert. Don't be alarmed. But I do recommend that you take a bite over the plate. As you guys know, I love Jar Jar Bank, so I'm excited to try a little treat from his home world. Oh, okay, yeah, wow. Mm. <laughs> Very sour. Wow, that's really a goo. Yeah, delicious. I love that, that's so cool. <laughs> the captain's table for $50 a person, you actually get quite a bit, but it's not like it's three full courses. It's like little bits of extra food, a little bit of interaction with the captain. I wouldn't feel left out if you didn't do it, but if you're a hardcore fan, it was awesome. And it gives you like a really good spot to watch the show. And we rushed upstairs for the Outer Rim Regalia. This is the costume show that people strut their stuff. And usually there's a few people in good costumes tonight because it's the May 4th journey everybody's dressed to the nines. Like, the costumes here are insane. Okay, so we sent a message to Vi down on Bat 2. Um, so that is taken care of. Now we just need to maybe stow you away, I guess, till we arrive tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, that was rude, sorry. Jack, remember how you were in charge of me? Well, I was in charge of him. Which makes you in charge of him. He's supposed to be in the engineering room right now. Yeah. And he was just taking a load off. Just chill. You take a load down in the engineering room. There's a, there's a whole cooling system you can go. You can go hang out, you can cool as carbonite, okay? And they can come with you, that's fine. And that's up to them. Are you already are you, are you looking to share a drink with your no, no! What the? <laughs> Come on! No, he's not a hero! You can do whatever you want. You're a free Wookiee now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! It's here for cheese! <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Sandra's here! Sandra's here! Sandra, your performance was so great tonight. That was a big moment. It was amazing. Wow. I know, but that was you had some. You had Sandra's kind of happy. She carried me. I was so nervous. <laughs> What'd you say? I said you're kind of handsome. You are. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I said, what happened? We were writing a song, you know, about, uh, about the First Order. It's called The Worst Order. That's the name of the song. Okay, can you stay out of trouble, please? I, I, this is not like me. I was just, we write a song, you know, the guests. We're getting a little tired. Well, I mean, she told me, she told me that, and, uh, apparently. But no, something I'm about so the worst. Very bored, I'm so sorry. Okay, I so need a new song. You've established that this is Steve's fault. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll take my, I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll fall asleep. He tonight. came to get you out of the break, but also came to apologize. Yes. yes. You're the worst order. Worst order. Worst order. I don't get why people come here. No one's around. Nothing to do. It's quiet. Oh, now I get it. Nice to get away from everyone else's vacation for a while. Affirmative fire. This can simulate a star destroyer. I hope not. I tried to move those rocks, but Asaja said I'm not one with the force. I'm one with this blaster, though. Excellent. You're good at that. It's really peaceful in here right now. 
down. It is. In my helmet, I mean. <laughs> Don't tell the lieutenant about this place. We may need to hide here again. <laughs> Calm down, please. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I tried moving those rocks with the force. I don't have the force. <laughs> is this the greatest thing ever? This is kind of amazing. Excellent. concept of this mindset that the the Jedi are the only people that have access to the force, right? The things that ground me sometimes are all over the place and the screws has been interesting because it's testing me a lot. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. It's a there's a part of my life I kinda let go of a while ago, you know? Um, something that I, I realized I had to I couldn't keep doing the same things that I was doing if I wanted to get better. If I wanted to be better, if I wanted to try and actually have a positive effect on the galaxy. Now that it's hotter, I thought I was having an impact, right? But sometimes you have to leave parts of yourself behind if you're going to step into who you're supposed to become. You have the ability to offer people joy. You have the ability to I'm offer them... Cry right now. <laughs> you have the ability to offer them joy. You have the ability to offer them understanding of worlds and galaxies. They don't have the opportunity to see. Do you realize how special that is? Something as simple as that can change and pioneer the charting of the course of where you move and how you impact other people. It can be just as simple as making that connection with this girl. Yeah, holding on to it. And the matching with that uh, is like the people that you can come, the beings that you can impact, and how all of those things are connected. Put your hand here, with that right there in your hand. And, and, and feel the MKS flows from here through all the rest of these other things, right? Through all of it, because it's all balanced and it's all connected. And just focus and breathe. Breathe in and connect. That's it. Why do that? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. And sometimes we don't even realize how we're messing with stuff with us. Sometimes we just have to be able to bring it towards us <laughs> and go on the journey of those around us, right? And draw that. Draw that towards you. Draw, imagine drawing that energy right towards you. And, 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 and as it focus, as it centers itself, the energy that presents itself is that of the force. It's you. It's you. So do that. Breathe. Draw towards you. Come on, Kitcha. You got this. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. Draw towards you. Come on. <laughs> and it moves through us and it flows. But the thing is, the only way it's, it's accessible is if we use it. And we can only do that by standing in the power that we have. You're capable of so much. You're capable of so much. Like, you've shown that. You've done it. It's there. All you have to do is embrace it. Grab onto it. The banter by the horns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And run. And trust the connections that you do have, the things that you have done, and what you have made. And know that it's worth it, and that it's strong, and that it's powerful. You are powerful. It's you. Always. And I mean, it, like, 
this. Thank you. For sharing this with me, for sharing this with everybody here, for for being the brave person that I know you are, that everyone else sees. Keep spreading joy. Keep inspiring people. That is going to be the spark that sets fire to the rest of the galaxy. And that spark is yours. I think there's a lot. Forget that. Okay? Yes. I had way too many drinks in the subway lounge and you're, no. you're making me cry over here. <laughs> I'm literally to crying. Through, honestly, yeah. but... Thank you, thank all of you for being here, being able to witness wow, you being so powerful, brave, standing in your truth. Yeah. Wow. It's energy unlike any other. Thanks. And may the force be with you, and you, and you, and you, and you, all of you, all of us here right now. Because not moments like this don't come around often. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Thank you, Kaiser such an amazing experience and I 100% did not intend to cry but he has such a way with words that he just made me feel so special and that was like this is why I love the Star Cruiser so much because things like this happen there was me Peter and three other people and we were the only ones who got to witness that and we've been on here this is our third voyage yeah we've never see seen that, that. and then the stormtroopers came out before that I wasn't expecting that it's just like no matter where you are on the ship stuff happens to you like it this is what makes this experience so one of a kind and just like truly special may i ask you my friend what what's inspired you the most today everyone's valiant efforts to protect things <laughs> <laughs> eloquently said my friend i was just wandering through the lobby late at night and there was a jawa we ran into a jawa so Reza ended up getting a drink, and I, I had not seen this in our previous voyage. The ice cube actually has the Halcyon logo on it. It is officially May the 4th. Woo! Came back into the room really quick, and we have a little treat. What is that? It looks like an artichoke, but I think it's chocolate. Those look, look like more of those little Jar Jar balls. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, ready? Should we cheers? cheers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Mm. Was yours green? Yeah. I don't know. I put the Let's whole thing in my mouth. Let's out. Let's see. It's green. <laughs> Is that a real? Okay, what is that? I just want to know if there was a I color. Think a, I think it's just sugar. There is. It's like good green blue. Well, I know, but mine was clear just now. Oh, really? It was? Yeah, you guys didn't see that? It was clear. Oh. Why did you not put it in your mouth? <laughs> Why is it clear? Ew! That looks so gross. That looks gross. <laughs> Highly recommend a Gungan ball. Yeah. yeah. Well, put the whole thing in your mouth. Don't. But no, don't. You gotta bite it. No, yeah. put it in. No, because if I bite it, no, you gotta see that it's clear. Okay. It is. Hold on. I smart. Oh, don't do the whole thing. <laughs> I like how she just threw over everything. <laughs> Steven's face right now. Delicious. You want the other half of it? She got the goo though. She already got the goo. I got the goo. So this is a uh, space uh, fruit. What is it called? The Anakin Apples. throws across the table with the force. With the. Um... I think that was a pear. It's not a pear. I can't call it well, not a pear. pear, but I mean, it was an apple shaped. Oh, is that what you think this is supposed to be? Yes. Really? Oh, I love well, it's that. Well, it's not a. <laughs> well, it's not a <laughs> it can't just be a pear. It has to be a. Well, now I love it even more. <laughs> it's a robot. <laughs> There's, does it have She'll a know. Name? Do I know? Like, what are you sure, was a type of apple fruit that had green and red skin. Yes, sure. Perfect. We have vacuum sealed shura mm -hmm. that we're going to open. And. And. Um, it's not Carl, it has to be. What do you call Carl in Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> and just like well, when you get something from the pharmacy. Right. Like quarter zone or whatever? You puncture it. Ooh. Mm. said this was the best thing that she ever ate. Oh, Close, right? 
up there. It was very close. <laughs> the Gungan balls are better. Are they? Yeah. How many Peters? <laughs> What'd you give it? Ordinary Adventure Star, five out of five. See? <laughs> See? So we're on Batu for our excursion day. It is May 4th, which is Black Spire Day here on Batu. It is busy as heck. Uh, we're really just here to do one mission. The Saja wanted us to find a certain crate, and we were able to find it somewhere in the outpost. Steve scanned it, and then later, hopefully we're gonna see what's inside back on the ship. One of the things that I love that they do here on Batu East is when you have a voyage from the Star Cruiser, they allow the people in like heavy costumes to actually come out on Batu and walk around. So you see people in like Mando costumes and like full on outfits. It makes the place feel so much more immersive. Looks like you're not the last Jedi. <laughs> we're gonna go on Smuggler's Run. We're gonna smuggle some coaxio. I thought we were gonna do Chewy Mode or something. Oh, we are doing Chewy Mode. Yeah, yeah, I totally forgot. I've only done it once. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm loopy. I'm delirious right now. I haven't slept. You slept one hour. It's one hour today, four hours yesterday. Control, this is Batu Transport 1. Request permission to dock. When getting off our transport from Batu back to the ship, I noticed some new travel posters that are on the gangway showing some of the other excursions on other Halcyon voyages. Not this voyage. Right now we're gonna head to the Subway Lounge to try a new drink that wasn't here on the original voyages. Going through it, it kind of sign signifies her hunting her mark. So that could be whatever you think it is. It could be blood dripping down. So we came back to the ship from Batu a little bit early. They're still doing one of their drink tastings. They now have an alcoholic drink tasting, which we haven't done, where the chemist explains all about the drinks and their origins. All right, Starlight Lounge, we have a great reactor! All right, this is our crate reactor from Tatooine, honoring the crate dragons. Please be very careful, gravity still does exist here in space. As you're drinking it, make sure you're putting the drinking tube facing up. If not, I know now you'll listen to me, so that's why there's some napkins in here. Yes. Tabo to everyone! We had to get ourselves the crate reactor. This is a shareable drink between two to four passengers as tequila, liche, lime, vanilla, and dragon fruit. It's basically a dragon fruit margarita, and it's $82, or I think you can get, if you just want a cup of it, the chemist will make it for you for like 17 or 18 bucks. But it comes in this container. This is, by the way, this is heavy. It's metal. Yeah, I wish I could buy this. On camera, it might look like a, one of those plastic zippers or something that you buy. No, uh, it's this, definitely not. It's not. This is, <laughs> this is tough. Okay, don't break it. And it has four straws, one from each side, <laughs> in which you can drink from. Ooh, it's like sour and tangy. This is incredible. I'm gonna give this a five out of five, Peters. I wanna see what Kitra thinks of this, because it could be worthy of the star. This is the best space margarita I've ever had. I know you said it's really tangy, and it definitely does have, you could taste like the tequila and that sour mix that's in a margarita. Like out of all the drinks you could get here at Sublight Lounge, I think this is by far the sweetest in my opinion, and the most colorful and pretty and awesome. And I love that you, if you don't want to get this whole thing. So it's just like you, it's colorful and pretty and awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, I was waiting for you to say that. But, um, so if you don't have four friends to share this with and you just want to get one for yourself, I love that they offer, you know, a single glass of this. This gets, come on. There, there's no way that this doesn't get the Ordinary Adventure Star. This is a great new addition. I hope they like are always gonna be adding new drinks to Sublight Lounge because we'll keep coming back and trying them. Now we have to head back up to the suite because I'm gonna get my image design. I'm gonna get my Star Wars face paint. I'm excited. I have no clue what I'm gonna get yet. It's just gonna come to me in the moment. I'm gonna pick something cool. Okay, so the blue markings you can't wear on Batu. Yes. Yeah. Or no, are Batu approved. Are Batu approved. Yes. They are Batu, so you can wear all of these there. Okay. Yeah, so the other ones you'll have to take off. Yeah, so if you're thinking about getting this and then going out to 
to Batu, these are the ones you can get. Wow. I know. I kind of like. Yeah, today is that the one. fourth. You think? What do you think? You like that one? Yeah. Okay. No turning back now. <laughs> yeah, once it's on, it's on, right? Yes. We're going to start with the base color, like a light purple. I'm gonna paint into your hair line, is that okay? Yeah, go for it. It'll look better, like, more meshed. I feel like Dan on right now. It was that same purple. The same purple the same you used purple. before? Yeah. Oh, cool. I actually should take some tips, because I didn't like how I did it. So the goal is to keep it um, very wet when you're applying on the whole face, but when you're doing the details, it's better to have more paint than water. Oh, wow, doing the lips, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. In Star Wars Rebels, there was a character, a very, very small character, inspired by Andy Gutierrez. And this is a feeling character. She was like a punk. With, she's got horns on the side of her head, a little bit of a mohawk. Oh yeah, I remember that. Remember that? It was a cool episode. Yeah. She looks like Dan, though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was going to go full, full face, but... No, I love it. You are committed. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see what the details come in. Hey, you look so fun. I love the face of these hair. I'm glad. <laughs> It's such a good idea. It is. Especially for people like me who like don't like to dress up, but like if you could have a professional do it, I love it. Aww, thank <laughs> you. Oh Wait! You look great! Thanks. Oh my gosh! That's so cool! I didn't even recognize you at first. I was like, wait. That is so cool. I didn't even know they had makeup like services. Wait a second, like, you traded sides? <gasps> oh no, I'm like Dr. Ashra in that one comic where she's spying. Uh. You know, like, Christina. Anything you need, like edit it or fix. No, I'm sure it's great. You need to wipe it off and start over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Who is she? Who is she? Feeling. <laughs> Are you happy with your new look? Yes. Oh, that looks good. Yes. So that whole experience is $135 plus tax and you have to book it 60 days in advance. I highly recommend it. I think it turned out great. And it's perfect for somebody like me who like is not a cosplayer who didn't really want to dress up, but you want to like, I don't know. It's just cool that someone else could do it to me and now I feel really pretty awesome. So Kitra went and put on her Ahsoka poncho and she looks so good with this makeup. Walking around the ship, she, she looks like a character from Star Wars. I don't know, like, I, I kind of thought this makeup thing might be stupid, might be overpriced, but you might want to do it on like day one and have it for your entire trip here on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Okay, now tell me when I'm in the shot. Uh, yeah, you're in the shot. Mm -hmm. A Good. little higher, okay. All right, I'm gonna drop it. Okay, I'm gonna get first, okay, first. <laughs> Continue off of the What droid? The droids are over there. There's no droid up there. droid there. That's the droids are over there. Exactly, my point. Oh, uh, was there supposed to be a droid there? He wanted to see the droids over here. <clears throat> Lieutenant Croy is right about SK. I know, it hurt to say it. <sighs> SK has vital information for the very survival of the resistance that they cannot be captured again. Now. <laughs> costume is amazing. No squeezy! <laughs> <laughs> So yes, actually, I brought you all in here because we need to move SK to a more secure location. Actually, Steven and Sarah and some of our friends, she shared with me that things have escalated on the ship. One of Kitra's favorite things at the second night's dinner is the blue shrimp. It's presented amazingly with like smoke and everything. When we were here for the first time, Reza and I both don't eat seafood and they give us like tip yip instead. But this time, they give us an alternative dish. It's some kind of spring rolls, veggie spring rolls. And I like that they did the the smoke. Effective immediately, the house here is now under the command and authority of the First Order. Even as I see that, First Order will not be defied. Our authority is absolute. 
Lieutenant Corey was making a speech about the First Order, and somebody in the audience yelled, ignite the spark, and then you're supposed to say, light the fire. And then I, I was just like, nerds. And then I, I forgot that I looked like this. And then I've been cracking up and crying for the past 10 minutes. It was funny. You had to be there. Yes, you have. Greetings. I was like, yeah, I love your Thank you. Ah. No. What? You You are Ray. The resistance, are you not? You are here to cause trouble and chaos and put these passengers in danger. 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 I was never here. You never saw me. You're needed in the hangar bay with us. There are a lot of people here uh, who, who we need to keep you safe, okay? Gonna, I can keep myself safe. She's she's not capable of keeping herself safe, but uh, her going up there it might escalate the situation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, uh, you're right. You're right. You know what? Uh, people have said that I, I can I can handle a ship myself. Um, and I can handle the situation. Yes, yes. He's, a good, he's a good captain. Captain. Assistant captain at your service. Right, look, Assistant um, captain Sammy. Yeah, I know. I need grab the quaxi. Guys, I need some help. Let's make our way up. Let's take care of this quaxi issue, shall we? Steve, what are you thinking of this whole thing? Oh, it's amazing so far. It's amazing how everything's flowing together so well. Is it? Better than you expected? Oh, absolutely, a thousand percent. Waiting for our table for the taste of the what's it called? Galaxy? That's it. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Helen! Stop! I was never here. You never saw me. You're needed elsewhere. We're done here. Oh, you're done. That was the single coolest thing I have ever seen. I've got this, and I don't know what. I am. I've heard about you. You ray of Jakku. Tui, Tui, you're here. So glad you're here. Okay, let's get an engineering. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, Jack. Jack. Right now. You sure, Jack? I trust Jack. All right, so do I. Honestly. Well, if the lieutenant's in there, what do we do? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. No, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. The vent. We can listen to the vent. Ray? I don't know if you care, but I think you're okay. What? I do care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not escalate anything. Keep your cat. Should I be concerned? Yes, you should be concerned about it. Yes, they're doing it right now. They're doing what right now? Croy is in the engineering room right now. They're putting an override. They're trying to shut down the ship right now. Again, I cried again. Jeez. I really
really gets you, doesn't it? Ah. <laughs> that's so funny. What for you? I feel like you that's so thing. funny. Yeah. <laughs> Passing out tissues. 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 Bless you. Honestly. Wow, what a great idea. It's a great uh, finale to an amazing two days. Yeah. That was really good. We had a blast on board the Halcyon. If you want to see the entire adventure, we couldn't show it to you in this video, we'll put it right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Cynthia, Taylin, Tiffany, and Alora and Scott. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure.